Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pearl and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement a program that can turn numbers into their sine, cosine, or tangent form. By the way, check out my newest app on the App Store, Pearl Calculator. Now, let's get started. So I'm going to start by opening up Xcode, create a new project, single view application, we'll name it SCT for sin, cause, tan, and say inter interface to storyboard. So our first step is to set up our UI. I'm going to head to the storyboard and drag in a text field. I think text fields are easier to use for smaller projects and labels, in my opinion, are for bigger projects. We'll also drag in three buttons for sin, cause, tan, and for our users to press. Then we'll embed all three buttons into a stack view with a spacing of 10. After that, we'll start setting constraints starting with the text field. I'll set three constraints to zero, and the height will probably set to 200. This number is adjustable, and you can change it to whatever height you want. For the stack view, we'll set all constraints to zero, so that we have the stack view's edges pinned. So we'll also set alignment to fill and distribution to fill equally. Now for our final part of the UI, we'll work with our buttons. For all buttons, the font will be, let's say, um, 40. And the background color will be gray. We won't do it too fancy. Now for each individual button, we'll set button one to the title of sin with a tag of one, button two with a tag of two and a title of cause. And for button three, we'll set the title to tan and the tag to three. Now our second and final step, the code part. I'll begin by going to our view controller and we will drag in an outlet for our text field. And for this outlet, we'll name it and label, which is basically answer label. And we'll control connect drag and label and connect. And we'll also create a giant action for all three of our buttons, we'll name it SCT2, again for sin, cause, tan. And this action we will connect all of our buttons to. This will be the main part of our program and it'll function as the heart of our program. And we'll connect. And we'll also create a double called number and we'll first set it to zero. And after we do this, we'll set the center of our action to UI button and start with the coding. So let's say if sender dot tag equals one. So we're basically pointing to the number to the button called sin, then number will equal double parentheses and label dot text. So now number is equal to our user's input. Now we'll say number equals sin parentheses number. So now we have our answer in number. Now we'll just have to print it out. So and label dot text equals number and string parentheses inside. 
So now we'll just have to copy this and change a few little things. So copy it two times and we'll change the if statements to else if statements and we'll set the tag differently. Just a few little things. And after we've done this, we can run it. So now it should work. It gives me a headache when the stimulators, simulators run really slow. So after it loads, I'll just type in a random number 56 and I'll test it out. And here we have it. Thanks for watching and share this video if it was useful for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next video.